back to Journey Alberta, I'm Sean. My girlfriend Danae is around here somewhere, she's going to join me later in the video. Today I'm going to be talking about five trips that are on Danae and I's bucket list of adventures for this year in Alberta. Basically five places or five hikes, camping trips, that we really, really want to do. So, get started. First one, it's a place that neither of us have been to, Sir Winston, Sir Winston Churchill Provincial Park. Now it's located near Lac La Biche in more northern Alberta, M much more north than I have ever been in my life. And it's going to be cool to go up there because this park is kind of an island and very unique and we've got a very great spot booked. I think we're going in, I think it's in July. Danae is coming. It's saying that we are going to be going to Sir Winston Churchill Provincial Park. Later in the summer. Yep. And so then that's gonna be in July. We're really looking forward to that camping trip to explore the island, maybe do a hike or two when we're there. It's gonna be probably a really good video. I'm really looking forward to it. The second trip that we're really looking forward to doing is going out to the Crow's Nest Pass area. Well, it's not really one trip, I guess, but we're gonna be camping at the Chinook Campground. Um, Bovis Lake and Castle Provincial Park. We're going to be in that area a few times coming up soon and um, really I think for the trip when we go to Chinook we're going to be hitting up some of the stuff that's in the Crow's Nest Pass. Yep. Like, like is there anything in particular you want to check out? Naturally. Um, Crow's Nest Pass actually I went there with my grandparents and it's one of the best vacations I had with them so Frank Slide. There's whole bunch of other like historic sites along there. I know there's some mining sites. I can't think of them offhand, but oh yeah, mm -hmm. we're going to all of it. <laughs> I'm so yeah, excited. We're gonna I can't wait. Probably do a little hike or something there, and I think where we're camping at the Chinook Campground as well. I'm pretty sure we're on the shore of a lake or something as well. I think so, yeah. Yeah, we're either close to lakes with or have lakes in view for pretty much all the camping we have booked this summer. <laughs> The next adventure on our list here, so number three, if you're keeping track, um, is hiking up, I think it's called Lejeure Ridge. I might be butchering the pronunciation of that, but it's in the Ghost Public Land Use Zone. The name, we'll see if she'll be able to do it, probably by later summer. Maybe? Yeah, because she's been a little sick and you know we want to build her strength back up because she hasn't really hiked at all, neither have I actually, since like last fall. Really? I am eager to get out of this house. <laughs> yeah, with COVID and everything too, and we've been dealing with our own health issues, so it'll be nice to get out of the house. And this hike is apparently not super hard. We actually camped right near the trailhead before when we were camping in the Ghost Public Land Use Zone. Apparently the trailhead is right near there, if, uh, if you watched that video from last year. Yeah, the trailhead is right up the hill from where we camped, and basically you follow it up to the top of this ridge. It kind of does a bit of a loop, but uh, I'm not sure if we're going to do the whole loop, because some people have said it's kind of really steep coming down on the one side, so we might just go all the way up to the top of the ridge, and then come back down the way we came. But it's apparently got amazing views of the mountains and surrounding area, so and it's a hike in the Ghost Public Land Use Zone, which I don't think I've actually done much of a formal hike out there. So that could be really fun for us to try. Mm -hmm. So number four on our list comes to us from, from Danae. <laughs> it's, um, it's a hike that I have done before a couple times, but not recently, and I haven't documented it in, um, in the way I do with Journey Alberta. What is it? Uh, Crypt Lake. <laughs> in Waterson Lakes National Park, yep. Crypt Lake hike. Um, I've done it a few times, and it's, it's an amazing hike. Um, Danae's seen pictures of it from when I've been in and yep. just heard people talk about it before. Yeah, when we were on the little ferry cruise in Watertown, the they talked cruise. about it. Yep. And just, I don't know, there's something about it. It just looks very intriguing to me, so I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. It looks like a challenge. Mm -hmm. It's something I haven't tried before, so I want to see if I can do it. And yeah. do it safely, that's the important part too. Exactly, <laughs> doing it safely yeah. is a big thing and it's an amazing hike and if you haven't done it, I highly recommend it. But make sure when you're going out there, you've got the right equipment and yeah, so that someone knows that you're going out there. Really good trail. Hope we can get out and uh, do it this summer. Uh, 
And the last thing now, uh, number five, I guess on our list, I'm not sure if we'll get to it or not. We want to make sure that we're totally prepared, of course, for doing something like this. <laughs> um, we are huge fans of Les Stroud, Survivor Man, if you haven't picked up on that before. <laughs> um, and doing a bit of a big binge or whatever of a lot of his content recently. What we want to do in a safe way and in a controlled way, of course, I stress that. Um, we want to go out and kind of almost simulate a survival um, experience. Of course, we wouldn't be far from a vehicle at all. Someone yeah. would know where we're going. <laughs> where it would basically be like, okay, we're we're out in the ghost public land use zone um, with what's on our backs, and you know, then we have to kind of spend the night. We're gonna spend the night, I guess, sleeping out in the, under the stars. More of a yeah. more of a I say survival, but we'll probably be only out there, you know, for a night or two. Mostly just to see if we can learn the skills and utilize them. It's more That's about practicing the skills. Yeah. versus like a pure survival experience and putting ourselves yeah. in danger. We won't be in any danger. It's more about we want an experience where we're kind of be able to show me show you guys some skills as well. Yeah. Like putting some things that maybe I've talked about into practice or that I can pass on to Danae or Danae can pass on to me. Yeah. So more about that. So we're really excited to potentially do that this year as well. That that could be really cool. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed um, listening to us talk about some experiences that we want to do this year. Hopefully it's inspired you. Um, I'm really curious to know about what places you guys are going to and if there's any that maybe could potentially pique my interest as well that maybe I'll add to my own personal bucket list for the summer. Anything you want to add? Uh, what are you most excited for? I don't know. Ooh, it's a toss up between Crow's Nest and uh, Sir Winston. I don't know. Mm -hmm. both, I'm really excited for both of them. It's going to be f some fun trips uh, in the summer. We're really excited. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching. Make sure, you'll, sure to leave a like and comment down below if you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe for new videos coming every Friday. We've had a lot of new subscribers lately. A lot of new views and like the channel is skyrocketing a little bit. So thank you for all of your support because it, it motivates us and we like bringing we like to feel like we're bringing you guys along on uh, our journeys. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.